Prop 32 aims to raise California's minimum wage to $18 an hour. Right now, the minimum wage is $16. It's expected to go up 50 cents for inflation next year. But instead, Prop 32 would raise the minimum wage to $18 an hour next year, which is a 9% raise. There is a caveat. People working for companies with 25 or fewer employees would get a little less, $17 an hour next year. Then in 2026, if Prop 32 were to pass, the minimum wage would simply be $18 an hour regardless of the size of the employer. It's forecast to hit $17 an hour that year without Prop 32. Then, come 2027, the minimum wage would simply keep adjusting for inflation just like it does already. With Prop 32, it would simply start adjusting from a dollar higher amount. Some cities have higher minimum wages than the state. Prop 32 won't undo that. California also has new special minimum wages for specific jobs. Prop 32 doesn't change those either. This year, we started to have a higher minimum wage of $20 an hour, specifically for most fast food workers, and we're phasing in higher minimum wages of $18 to $23 an hour for many healthcare workers. Prop 32 won't change those numbers, whether it passes or fails. In general, raising the minimum wage puts pressure on businesses who pay it. Some might raise their prices on the things you buy from them, others might lay people off. On the flip side, employers also tend to consider giving raises to other workers already making more than the minimum wage just because the minimum wage went up. A yes vote on Prop 32 increases California's general minimum wage to 18 an hour starting next year. A no vote rejects the measure, keeping the minimum wage next year at its forecast $16.50.